was the night before Christmas and all through the house. Not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. And the stockings were hung by the chimney with care with the hope that St Nicholas soon would be there. The children were nestled all snug in their beds, while visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. And Mama in her kerchief and I in my cap had just settled our brains for a long winter's nap. When out of the lawn arose such a clatter, I sprang from my bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window, I flew like a flash, tore open the shutters and threw up the sash. The moon on the breast of the new fallen snow gave an astor of midday to objects below. When what to my wandering eyes did appear? But a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer. With a little old driver so lively and quick, I knew in a moment he must be Saint Nick. More rapid than eagles, his courses they came. And he whistled and shouted and called them by name. No dasher, no dancer, no prancer, no vixen. On Comet, on Cupid, on Donald, on Blitzen. To the top of the porch, to the top of the wall, now dash away, dash away, dash away all. As leaves that before the wild hurricane fly, when they meet with an obstacle, mount to the sky. So up to the housetop the courses they flew, with a sleigh full of toys and St Nicholas too. And then in a twinkling I heard on the roof, the prancing and pawing of each little hoof. As I drew in my head and was turning around, down the chimney St Nicholas came with a bound. He was dressed all in fur, from his head to his foot and his clothes were all tarnished with ashes and soot. A bundle of toys he had flung on his back, and he looked like a peddler just opening his sack. His eyes how they twinkled, his dimples how merry. His cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry. His droll little mouth was tied up like a bow, and the beard on his chin was as white as the snow. The stump of a pipe he held tight in his teeth, and the smoke it enriched his head like a wreath. He had a broad face and a sweet round belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. He was chubby and plump, a jolly old elf, and I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. A wink of his eye and a twist of his head soon gave me to know I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word, but went straight to his work and filled all the stockings then turned with a jerk and laying his finger aside of his nose and giving an odd up the chimney he rose he sprang to his sleigh to his team gave a whistle and away they all flew like the down of a thistle but i heard him exclaim here he drove out of sight happy christmas to all and to all a good night